quack medicine and pray for it to be effective. Real medicine doesn't oh, no. require oh, prayer. Because prayer doesn't fucking do anything, dumbass. So if you've got an ineffective medicine, you're saying, oh, but maybe if you pray for it, you'll get lucky. Gosh, that's stupid. That is the stupidest shit I ever heard. Imagine going to Home Depot and they're like, yeah, this screwdriver's pretty good if you pray for it to work. <laughs> what do you make of all the medical miracles that people talk about anyways? Oh, it's all a bunch of bullshit. They've never been documented in any attempts to analyze them thoroughly has shown that it's as accurate as chance. Too much fun. I know. That would be the definition of miracle. At, no, it, as accurate as chance uh, would not be the definition of a miracle. It's what people pass off as miracles. What credibility? It's all within, like, the discrimination of chance. No, no. If, if, if someone in Las Vegas gets dealt a full house, it's yeah. not a miracle, even though they probably prayed for it. It's not a miracle, it just happens at the rate of chance. Spontaneous remission is a thing, and prayer doesn't adjust the rates of spontaneous remission at all. Anytime it's been attempted to be analyzed, even by religious organizations. I'd have, to, I'd have to look at medical documentation about that, but what I can tell you is that any time that even religious organizations have tried to look at spontaneous remission cases and see if it's skewed at all by prayer, it isn't skewed at all by prayer. So you've got some particular anecdote that you swear by. Why should that convince me until you've got the medical info in front of me? So suppose it's not skewed by prayer. But if it then, has then, no, then we're saying that prayer no isn't effective. Then we're saying, power, it, then we're then saying we're prayer isn't effective. Here. That was the point that I started with. Is you're telling people to pray for your crap medicine to work because it's crap medicine. And we know that prayer doesn't work. And then you're pivoting to, oh, but I didn't say it was about prayer. Yeah, yeah, goddamn did say it was about prayer because you're telling them to pray for your crap medicine. I didn't explain why I told them to pray. You told them to pray for it to be effective. So you're lying when you say you didn't say why to pray. You said pray for it to be effective because you know it's not effective. And you hope maybe by random chance it will be effective even though I know it's not. I think you're assuming a lot here, man. No, no, I'm just listening to you and holding you to your word. Whereas you're going to be a weasley little liar. If I tell you not to jump off a cliff, but don't tell you why. But you effective. did tell them why. You said pray for effectiveness. It wasn't just pray for the hell of it. It was pray for effectiveness. And I'm telling you, that doesn't happen even when religious organizations try to look into if prayer can have any effect. I find prayer righteous and effective. But you're wrong about it being effective. Statistically, like, I would not... Oh yeah, just as far as the data goes, I'm wrong. But as far as I feel, I feel so right. Fuck you. That's such bullshit. <laughs> Consider, like, how much the medical community has abandoned the God who blesses that efforts that you Um, because God doesn't intervene in medicine. He does. He doesn't. These medical miracles are no. no natural explanation. Spontaneous remission is a natural explanation. And it happens at the rate of chance. It doesn't It doesn't get affected by prayer. It doesn't get affected by the... spontaneously remit. What yes, is that? but I, I actually saw a TV show that responds to this. grew my leg. Uh, okay, spontaneous remission is called atopoxis. It's where the cell that knows it's supposed to kill itself kills itself. That's where spontaneous remission comes from. It's actually a lot more common than you think it is. It's when the immune system hits it. It's most common when a, when a person has two different types of cancer, right? So, like, let's say you have lung cancer and pancreatic cancer at the same time. The immune system is going to recognize the lung cancer, not the pancreatic cancer. Thus, atopoxis occurs and then creates spontaneous remission. So, that's not a miracle. It's, it's the way that our bodies are designed. That's fair enough. I don't think that this has any explanatory power in the, in the hole in these trials. So then why even bring it up if, oh wait, you're saying the apoptosis doesn't have explanatory power. Well, in response to your anecdote, Satan regrew my leg. So... So wait, hold on, hold on. Are you talking... You're talking about... So Satan's clearly more somebody powerful. Had spontaneous. Somebody had spina bifida and you're claiming that they spontaneously... It's spontaneously remitted. And that's what Apologia claims. We made a podcast on the story. Yeah, that's not true. That's not true. There hasn't been a single case of... of uh, if you can pull out the medical documentation... ...for a spina bifida, it just doesn't happen. It never happened. So I'd like to see it if it did. Now, can a doctor go into the womb and repair it? Absolutely. 
but it does not spontaneous ferment, so I don't know why you're spreading that falsehood. He heard it. He believes it. He's gonna spread it. I just trust people I trust, and they bear witnesses. Then. Well, and well, yeah. that's where, a pretty that, bad method. Though. Where, where's that gotten you so far? You know, for real, it, it got you in opposition of a bunch of people when you should, in reality, to be out there supporting organizations to stop, uh, to to uh, help people before they get to this point, as opposed to standing out here thinking we're actually doing something. I'm oh, glorifying my God. I don't. You're not glorifying your God. You're glorifying yeah. yourself. He commands us. To rescue those being carried away. And are you doing that? Right. See, I was I was search and rescue for a lot of years, right? I mean, I was, you can actually you can find me in newspapers. This is not rescuing. This is standing around. I look at how Jeremiah fulfilled the same commands when people were sacrificing their children. And, and, and can I ask you, you how, how dare you compare yourself with the great Jeremiah? Why why would you compare yourself? Are you doing anything see, that's compared what I'm to that? Seeking to imitate. Why would you seek to imitate a Jewish prophet if you're a Christian? Why would you seek to imitate Jesus? Because the, Jew, the Jewish people carried my spiritual heritage. Uh, uh, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we really didn't. You, you didn't. you didn't notice that you were carrying his spiritual heritage? I knew I had some more bad names. <laughs> no, no, here, here's the thing. All right, it's interesting that you believe that. But what you're doing is supposed to be a Jewish thing you can do. It truly is. So if the Jewish people carry the spirit of heritage, you're not honoring all the all the people who died in order to get you where you're at right now. You're not honoring. Because you know what Jews are out there doing? They're out there doing what's called mitzvah. They're out there creating organizations or contributing to organizations to get people to help they need before it gets to this point. You guys aren't doing anything. What you're doing, what you're doing, right, Man, right now.